is Jeff. I'm with TransWest RV here in the beautiful, sunny suburb of Kansas City, Belton, Missouri. Yeah, I know, you want to come here, right? I want to show you something. Now, take a look at this motorhome. Look at the clean, uncluttered lines, the beauty of the Mountaineer emblem, literally. This coach, if you look at it, it really is timeless. The design of this thing, I think this is one of the best design coaches in this particular year that Newmar has ever created. Now this, when I say year, you're gonna be really shocked. This motorhome is a 2008 Mountaineer. And if you look at the front end, one of the things that you'll notice, or maybe not notice, is that it has no defects. This coach has been driven down the road a fair amount. You don't see any chips. You don't see any deterioration of the clear shield on this. This is highly unusual, especially for a motorhome that is 14 years old. Most people, you say, hey, my motorhome is 14 years old. They think, okay, well, I don't even want to look at your motorhome. This thing, I love. I know everything about this motorhome, or at least I think I do. However, every time I come out here and look at it, which is at least five times a day, I find something new. So I want to show this motorhome to you and show you why this is a motorhome you ought to consider for a lot of different reasons. So come on, let's go inside and take a look. Come on and join me. First off, let's take a really close look at these seats. Look at the condition of these seats. They are tremendously comfortable. They're very soft. They, of course, will turn around and join the living area. Nice armrests in incredible shape. If you look at the dash, it is not cluttered. It is beautifully presented. You can see everything you need to see. It's all right here. And if you'll notice the Spartan emblem, yes, this is a Spartan chassis, the best chassis in the motorhome business. Everything is just almost immaculate in this motorhome. It has 74,000 miles on it, which scares a lot of people who know nothing about motorhomes. But this is a diesel. It's a big Cummins 450 engine. This thing will last longer than you will. So that is not an issue. 74,000 miles on a coach, hey, that's ready to go. And it is broken in, and it is literally. This coach has been maintained immaculately. Let me give you some more options here. Take a look at the woodwork. This is beautiful, it's cherry glazed walnut. It is an option, so the folks that bought this paid a little bit more for it. Look at all the storage cabinets. This is one big slide here, and you can see you have seven storage cabinets right above this, and down below here, you've got a workstation area, which there are two chairs that come with this coach. You can get two more. This pulls out to about here, and you can put two more leaves in the table, and you have a dining table that you can easily and comfortably seat four people at. Up here, this is a tremendously comfortable couch. It is the original equipment. You couldn't tell from looking at it because it looks brand new. This makes a gigantic bed and you've also got a bed over here. So you can sleep up to six people in this coach quite easily. Now in the kitchen area, this is an all electric coach. And I do want to take a second here to say in terms of options, and available equipment. This coach is equipped with just about everything that you could possibly order in a new coach today. There are a couple things that weren't available at the time, that hadn't been invented, but nevertheless, it has just about everything. It is an all electric coach, so we have an induction cooktop with two burners. Of course, solid surface Corian throughout the coach. You've also got a sink that has two sides 
and this is solid surface as well. And of course, you have a convection microwave, a pretty large convection microwave. So you can cook, you can bake as well as microwave. Lots of area down here. It does not have a dishwasher. The folks that ordered this decided they did not want a dishwasher. It was available, but if you know anything about camping, a lot of times you get a dishwasher, you really don't use it. So let's keep in mind there is a TV at the very front of the coach and there is a TV back here. This is on a swivel and tilt mount. So you can bring it out if you want, so you can see it a little bit better out here in the living area. You have hydronic heating in this coach, which means you have an Aquasoft system that will give you three zones of heating for your tile floor in case you like to get up and not have your feet get cold. Um, you've also got on-demand hot water, and it also provides your furnace function as well. So hot water is what heats this coach. Moving on back, you've got a big frigidaire refri refrigerator freezer here. Um, it has ice as well as water dispensing on the front and a lot of room on the inside for whatever you need to take with you and keep refrigerated. Now, I'm going to tell you this coach has one bathroom, but it is a big bathroom and it's right here in the middle. Come on back. This is what I call, well, there's nothing else to call it but the stool room. However, notice there's a sink and there's plenty of room in this thing. One of the things that you have a problem with a lot of times in motorhomes and stool rooms is, it's not enough room to sit on the stool. This one has plenty of room, you got no issues. Right in here, you've got the washer and dryer. separate units and as you head on back into this bathroom notice the space you have you've got dual sinks again a nice Corian solid surface big area here for uh, your medicine cabinet area which opens whoops opens like this and you've got that all the way across your vanity Lots of space down here for storage as well. You've got a bathroom that is also Corian, by the way. That, I don't mean bathroom, I mean a shower, of course. Uh, Well-constructed shower, and it's easy to get into. You simply slide this over and step right in. One of the things I find really, really nice about this motorhome is when you open this door, it's essentially like this entire area is a suite. This is a huge door, and it really gives you a, a big sense of space. Now, of course, you can close the door and uh, close this off here. You can also close the door in front of the stool room. Depends on what door you need to close. And, of course, you walk right into the bedroom, which is gigantic. If you take a look at the bed, it is a king bed. It is very big. You do have nightstands on both sides. You've got reading lights up above. And over on this end, you have more storage, dresser drawers. You've got some space in here where you can store some things. Your TV hides back here. And when you're ready to watch it, you simply pull it out so that you can see TV. TVs are really kind of ugly, let's face it. So, Numar recognized that and decided, let's hide the damn thing, put it in there. More storage up above. Of course, you've got electrical outlets in both of these cabinets so that if you've got a CPAP machine or whatever you have to plug in, you're able to do it. Back here, you've got more storage. These shelves go clear back over here as well. And then in here, you have a cedar lined closet. So the wardrobe goes clear across here. You've got plenty of area for hanging clothes as well. And there's a safe back here because you know, 
we know you're rich, you gotta close your stuff up and keep it locked in the safe. Of course, you've got courtesy lights on the floor, so when it's night, you can leave those on and still get here, get through here safely, not stub your toe. I love this bathroom. Gee, what else is there about this coach? Man, it just has everything that really almost anyone needs for a motorhome. It's got 74,000 miles on it. In my book, that only means it's been used functionally. And there's no break-in period for this coach. You're ready to go. It's a Newmar, it's a Mountaineer. Mountaineer is one of the top end coaches for Newmar's line still today. And it was the case when this Mountaineer was built as well. It is beautiful. It doesn't have a bunch of silly things like a lot of chrome or lights or things of that nature. It is just a beautifully designed, immaculate motorhome. This thing was cared for very, very well, and it's obvious. It's been stored inside. The paint outside is perfect. It all looks like the front end of the coach. It looks like it was just painted yesterday. One of the most interesting things about this coach is the price. You can buy this coach for $154,805, which honestly I'd stack this one up against any of the used coaches you can find out there, literally. It's as good as anything I've seen come on the lot, and the only reason it's only $154,000 is because it's a 2008. It has nothing to do with the quality or the condition or anything like that. Folks, I wish you'd come and buy this because I keep trying not to. I mean, if I, if I didn't just buy one a couple of years ago, I'd buy this one, honestly. Uh, it, is, it is impressive. And if you can get away with not having lots and lots of little push buttons or digital displays and things like that, this is the coach for you. Uh, if, if, you can, if you can stand having a light switch that you literally have an on and an off, this is a little old fashioned, but you probably have these in your house, let's face it. Yeah, come and buy this. I love it. I hope you buy it from me. I'm Jeff, again. We're here, here at TransWest RV in Belton, Missouri. Come and see me, give me some money, and drive this thing away. You will love it, and you will not regret it. I think for the money, definitely. I, I'd buy it just for the looks. Come on down. You know you want it. I know you want it. Come and get it.